Ghana is making strides in promoting women's and girls' participation in STEM fields, challenging gender stereotypes and changing mindsets. This initiative is gaining momentum and is seen as a promising step toward the future of STEM education. Africa 54 technology correspondent Paul Ndiho has more. Hello, Paul. Hello, Esther, and thanks, and more robots. So with the increasing demand for skilled workers in robotics and automation, it's crucial to introduce Ghanaian students to the world of robotics from an early age. Here is Jonathan Kennedy, CEO of Innovev Take Center in Accra, Ghana, with more perspective. We started a girl-powered workshop where we bring mentors, women who are doing amazing things in the field of STEM to empower these young girls. We introduce girls to robotics, to coding, you know, digital skills, technical vocational skills, and it was impressive. So that is what we are doing at our corner of the world to empower young girls to participate or, you know, get into the tech and then the STEM field. Uh, when we talk about girls, what uh, numbers are we looking at or what ages are we looking at? So with, with the girl power, we start from the ages of four, so from four years and above. So we had students who were four years, who are four years, and then we had students as, as old as 20 years coming in, and <laughs> it was impressive. You know, young girls... We, we, we believe that to change the situation, you have to start from the foundation. So creating that change, you have to start as young as they are, when you show their interest or we'll build that interest in them. So we start very early. What's the response been like? Are you trying to uh, crisscross the entire country, uh, going to different schools, uh, different universities, uh, trying to give these young women uh, tools that can benefit them in the future? We've, we partnered with a number of organizations and universities. So we've been going to universities to work with them, to empower young girls and men as well. So we are, we are working, we are, we, we are currently working with some, a couple of schools to, to empower their young girls. Second is for the people that believe in what we are doing, the sponsors. STEM is for everyone, you know, like, people that actually believe that you are doing something. You know, sometimes you do something and people are somewhere, oh, nah, like, they don't actually see what you are doing. But then people are there who see it, like yourself, Janelle, and then other prominent women who believe in what we are doing. They, they support our initiatives. They dedicate their time, their resources. Going forward, we, we are actively looking for support to get these robotics kits and then enough laptops or tablets for the students so that they can each have one and then be able to learn effectively. How do you get funded? How do you get your funding? Yes, yeah, so we, we self-fund, we believe in sustainability, so most of our projects we fund it ourselves. And then I, I'm really grateful for our international sponsors that like sponsors when we need resources to reach out to them, they send it to us. We I'm also grateful for the local sponsors, the people that we work with them, that support our work. When you go to some of these schools, uh, high schools or universities, uh, what kind of support do you get from there? Most of the most of the schools we've been to, they are very supportive. Some some schools accommodate us. They they you know take care of the feeding, accommodation, transportation, and the instructors. So and then some provide resources resources like you know the technical resources we would need to have an effective program and logistics as well. What keeps you going? How do you keep uh, doing this day in day out? It's it's the fulfillment I get. You know the fulfillment I get in seeing the aha moment when when a kid takes a breadboard and some jumper wires and then an LED and then connect it and then it blinks the you know that moment when they are when they could when they program a robot it then moves when it performs a certain function and then they, they they start to believe in themselves that I can I can do something you know taking them from I cannot do anything to, oh, okay, I have this potential, I can do something, 
amazing it it intrigues me how many people have you uh empowered this far so we, we've reached seventeen thousand. as at last year we were at fifteen thousand, but this to to match from then to match we've been able to reach about seventeen thousand five hundred students and this is across ghana this is across ghana yes we've been having some programs outside ghana as well with our partners in other african countries thank you so much for your time thank you thank you to paul that was a jonathan kennedy ceo of innovate a stem center in accra ghana that's a today's attack report back to you esther Thanks, Paul. Be sure to join Paul Ndiho every Wednesday for his technology report on Africa 54.